Uh, well, we thought it wouldn't be good to have you around the prisoners. I mean, they all knew what you did. I mean, they all knew you were the man who could get pretty ugly. Listen, it's nothing I can't handle. If somebody gets out of line, I'd take care of myself. I can't let it come to that, Niles. I'm sure if you think about it, you'll understand. Yeah, I understand. I guess this ain't the kind of work they give you a gold watch for, is it? One thing a man needs is a friend. Someone to talk to when you're feeling down and out. I suppose that's why they invented bars, you know? The nurses drink, you think things over, have a little chat. All of a sudden, things ain't quite as bad as they seem. Most ballroom conversations either about baseball, boxing, or football. But with me, it's different. People usually want to talk to me about my job. I guess I always say my ex-job. This one's on me, Mr. Talbot. Damn criminal. I can't believe those politicians really did it. You're real, buddy. Well, they're doing lots of shows on TV about the whole thing. TV people don't know nothing. They won't do something good. What they really ought to do is ought to put a lot of little TVs in all the cells of all the prisons, you know, closed circuit, so that all the guys who's locked up can watch their buddy when he gets cooked. <laughs> now, that might be a real education. Hell, I'd watch it. There's this editorial on TV, and the commentator is saying how if they televise executions, the whole country would just stop the death penalty. I mean, Nielsen's through the roof. Other networks would start killing people just to compete. Pretty soon, Geraldo Rivera be pulling that switch. <laughs> it's all a big food chain. We eat it, and it eats us. They can me from my job because they're afraid of me. They're afraid of death. They don't see it's all around them. It's a disease. You eat it, you drink it, you breathe it, you feel it. We're all pregnant with it. Growing inside all of us. Like them, over there. You see those two junkies? Pitiful, ain't they? I'll tell you something, though. In a way, I respect them. They're honest. They spend all the money they can get just to shoot a little death into their arms. Just for a thrill. Just get a little taste of the grave. See, they know death is coming. They tease it. I like that. Upon examination of sworn testimony, it would appear that the state has a strong case for the prosecution of James Flood for the crime of murder. However, having reviewed the district attorney's case, I find that the warrant for arrest has been improperly worded. I'm afraid I must rule that there are no grounds on which to prosecute James Flood. What? Mr. Flood, you are free to leave. Yeah! <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, Your Honor, I object. This is a travesty of justice. Because of a simple clerical error, you're letting this man go free. Order in the court. This case is dismissed. Your Honor, I would like to petition immediately to the appellate court for a review. Order in this court. Order in the court. You killed my brother. Order in this court. Will you? Your brother was a fag. I got nothing special against bikers. Hell, I used to own a hog myself once upon a time. Bikers believe in freedom. They don't want nobody to lean on them, and they don't give a damn what polite society thinks of them. See, they figure they're throwbacks to real Americans. You know, what the country was all about before it all went to hell, with big city lawyers and computers, corporations, time clocks and what all. There's a lot to be said for that. Those ain't bad ideas. But this biker, Jimmy Flood, 
Now, he went way out of line. And he ought to pay. circuit may have been responsible for the freak accident which claimed the life of alleged murderer Jimmy Flood. Flood, often characterized in the press as a motorcycle hoodlum based on his lifestyle Can you and believe that? Record. And some people say there's no God. Sure there's a God. No doubt about it. The problem is he spends too much time making asses like that biker. And I know what you mean. He looks like a real freak to me. You know how on TV they get these experts, you know, the, uh, the ACLU pipes, and they're always saying that it's only the minorities that get the chair. Did you, did you ever notice that? And they're all pretty dark when I get done with them, Vic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I never had no problem with women. If I wanted one, I just went out and got her. Easy peasy, Jeff, and easy. Right there, honey. They just want you to love them, that's all. That's all they ever want. They get that from their mamas, from all the trashy magazines they read. It's easy to be successful with dames. Now, as far as strategies, that's easy, too. The old rule, you treat whores like queens and queens like whores, you got no problem. Up there, you got the queen bee herself. Yes, sir, I got just what the doctor ordered for you. You might have fooled that jury, but you didn't fool me none. I wonder how you're gonna dance when I put 10,000 votes through your ass. you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law.